Hi everyone, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're going to go over my number one reason why puppies either lose fur or have a bed coat. Let's cut right to it. The most common reason for fur loss in a puppy or a bed coat is mange or mites. More specifically, demodectic mange. I'm going to go over three steps today. What the pet owner may see at home what I see and how I diagnose it at the veterinary clinic, and last, how a veterinarian will go about treating mange in a puppy. As always guys, if your pet is sick, please go see your local veterinarian. This material is strictly for educational and entertainment purposes. Number one, what will the pet owner see at home? The pet owner is gonna see fur loss. An owner may see a localized area of fur loss or a generalized area of fur loss on their puppy. Now, what does that mean? Localized means that they have one lesion or area of fur loss or alopecia. That area may be anywhere on the top of the foot, on the face, on the chest, on the back, anywhere you pick it, but it's only one area. If we have a generalized area of fur loss, you're gonna see multiple areas of fur loss or you may see a big area of fur loss. I tend to be pretty straightforward with my pet owners. So when their doggy rolls in and it's a puppy and it has fur loss, I tend to just say, hey, your dog may have mange. And right away, there's panic. Oh my goodness, we've been petting them all weekend and the kids have been petting them and the neighbor kids came over and we had a party and it was the puppy's party and everybody petted him, Dan. like. If this, we need to tell public health about this because everybody was exposed. The good news is about demodectic mange or puppy mange is it's not contagious. You're not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Other dogs aren't going to get it. So puppies get it because they're growing and developing and, and their immune systems aren't super robust and strong yet. Every veterinarian will do a skin scrape to get their diagnosis. We pinch the skin. We scrape the skin and we put it onto a slide and we put that slide under a microscope and that's when the magic happens. You scroll through the slide back and forth, you zoom up and down and then that's when you see the mange. Demodectic mange looks like a cigar with legs. It's kind of silly looking. Once you see those little cigars on the slide, you got your answer. The puppy has mange. So the pet owner's thrilled now because they have an answer. The veterinarian's thrilled because they answered your question. And now we go to treatment. Because your veterinarian's going to look at your dog. And they're going to think for a second. Because a localized case, as we mentioned earlier, just one little spot, technically doesn't need treatment. Because as the doggy grows up and gets stronger and stronger and stronger, they can definitely beat the demodex on their own. However... If you have a bigger area, or you have multiple areas of fur loss, that is a generalized infection. And generalized infections can really run rampant. And they can cause other things like secondary skin infections and a lot of inflammation. So those should be treated. They may do a liquid that you give daily to help kill the demodectic mange off. Or they may do a topical that they work into the skin, they bathe the dog with, and they keep your dog for the whole day. So there's a handful of options they may do. And sometimes if they're veterinarians like, Ooh, this is a good case of demodectic mange. And you know what? We get a bacterial infection too. So sometimes they will need to do more things than just you know treat the demodex. They may give you a medicated shampoo, they may give you antibiotics. But that really depends on what your veterinarian decides to do regarding your puppy's case. I hope this was super helpful. I hope this levels up your confidence regarding your puppy. So when you go into your veterinarian, you have a little bit better idea about how that appointment's going to go and what to expect.